right. Um, we'll go ahead and get started. And if anyone else joins us, um, they'll be let into the webinar. Um, I want to welcome you all to our webinar today. We're really excited um, to talk about this program and this scholarship. Um, my name is Sheila Gold. I'm the Executive Director of Recruitment and Admissions, and I am joined by my colleague, Amanda Hassan, who will also be um, presenting today. She's our Director of Academic Advising. And then also Ann Conlin, who's our colleague, is in the background running the slides um, and making um, this webinar happen. It couldn't happen without Anne. So um, thanks, Anne. Um, so we're going to tell you a little bit about who we are as a school. And then we'll talk a little bit about the scholarship, how you can apply for it, um, some of the advantages of attending Tulane SOPA, and then how to apply to the university. So um, we're going to go ahead and get started. So Tulane School of Professional Advancement is one of the smaller schools inside of Tulane University. Tulane University was founded in 1834 as the Medical College of Louisiana and has subse subsequently had other smaller schools underneath its umbrella. Um, be founded, one of which is the School of Professional Advancement. Um, the School of Professional Advancement is the latest iteration of um, this school. The original um, SOPA was started in 1886. It was founded as a continuing education college um, to offer classes to um, working adults within New Orleans and um, its greater New Orleans region. That is still true today. Um, we have a commitment to adult learners um, and to non-traditional learners, and um, we certainly have a commitment to our own community. We'll talk about that a little bit more, but part of our commitment um, to the community is to offer um, an incredible, rigorous two-lane education at an affordable price point with flexible classes. So um, we'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, SOPA has a lot of advantages, um, one of which is that we have been doing online learning for many years now. Um, for many people, um, online learning is a new concept. Um, with COVID-19, lots of people have started to hear the idea of online learning. Many of us who have school-aged children have them doing online learning. Um, SOPA has actually been doing it for many years, which means that we have expertise in the field. Um, our faculty are trained as online teachers. Um, our curriculum is set up to be translated to the virtual space. And we have um, curriculum designers that design traditional in the classroom curriculum to the online space. So our students have an incredible interactive experience. Um, our program and our faculty are second to none. Uh, our faculty are actually practitioners in the fields in which they teach, which means that you have professionals who will um, not only be talking to you about your curriculum, but also about opportunities after you graduate and in the workforce right now. Um, our student support, which Amanda is going to talk about a little bit later, is incredibly um, intense for students. Um, we have student support. Our advisors are available to students um, almost at a daily basis. You can reach out and set an appointment with them. Um, we have a very intimate student support operation um, where our advisors get to know our students and our students get to know their advisors. Um, I think the advising at Tulane SOPA is actually the strongest of any part in all of Tulane University. So um, that's something that I always tell students. Our advisors aren't just committed to helping students, they're uh, committed to helping students graduate, which is a big deal. And then we'll talk about affordability and flexibility a little bit further down. Um, our price point for our tuition at SOPA is um, lower than other parts of the university. That's on purpose. Um, that's because we know that most of our students are juggling um, multiple responsibilities, including work, um, maybe taking care of people in your household. Maybe you have a family um, and maybe some other obligations as well. So we know that your education is an investment, but we don't want it to be prohibitive. We want students to be able to pursue their dreams. Next slide, please. Um, so a little bit more about our online learning at, at SOPA. 
Um, our students are offered access to um, online learning materials, lecture notes, and assignments at any time. Um, like I said, our classes weren't just put online um, recently for COVID. Our um, curriculum has been online for many years. We've actually won awards, national awards, um, for our online curriculum, and our students have incredible experiences in the classroom. Um, our online um, curriculum is also interactive. Um, much like uh, what we're doing right now, where you have access to me and I can talk to you. You can ask questions during classes. Um, there's interactive programs with other students in your classes. So it translates into um, an interactive experience. There's um, online simulations in some curriculum. So it's not just listening to recorded videos. Um, there's discussion boards. You will have group work with other classmates um, and you'll get to know your classmates. So it's very much the same relationship building that you would have um, as if you were in a brick and mortar classroom. Um, you do have online meetings, kind of like what we're doing right now, once a month, um, as well as you'll be exposed to uh, interacting with your classmates and be exposed to guest speakers. Um, just a little bit of the numbers. Um, for our online program at SOPA, over 1,300 students have completed close to 13,000 hours of online coursework just in the last year at SOPA. Um, that is how good we are at doing online um, learning. Um, at SOPA, we offer eight master's degrees that are totally online. We have 11 graduate certificates that are online, four, four post-baccalaureate certificates, and overall over 300 courses are all developed specifically to be translated to the online environment. Um, we have over 200 faculty members that are specifically trained to teach online courses. Um, and like I said, we have won several national awards for our online learning. So um, our students really enjoy their time at SOPA. So um, a little bit about the um, PTK scholarship. Um, this is intended as a gap scholarship. So what that means is you will receive um, your financial aid award. Um, you will also find out um, how much your tuition, our mandatory fees, which are very low at SOPA, by the way. We purposely keep our fees very low. Um, and you'll find out how much of that is covered by financial aid. Oftentimes there is a little gap, meaning that there's a certain amount of money that you will have to come out of pocket in order to pay for your two-lane degree, the PTK scholarship is intended to cover that gap. So that's to say that once you get your financial aid award, if there's any money that, you're, that you are responsible for, this scholarship will help cover that so that you won't have to pay any money out of pocket to attend Tulane SOPA. Um, in order to get the award, you will have to apply to Tulane SOPA. Um, you will have to be admitted into the school. Um, and after admission standards have been met and you have applied for the um, PTK scholarship, then it will be awarded to you and you will be able to attend the school. Um, we do like to let students know that though you still have to apply to Tulane SOPA, we are not worried um, about you being qualified to attend. You are incredibly strong students, obviously, by, be by virtue the fact that you um, are in PTK. And so we're not worried that you're going to have um, admissions issues. All right. Um, so the specifics about the eligibility for PTK is that the, the scholarship is up to $3,000 per year. And that is split between two semesters. So you'll receive $1,500 in the fall semester, $1,500 in the spring semester. It does not cover a summer term if you choose to go for a summer term. Um, and this is renewable every year that you are at Tulane SOPA um, finishing your degree. So um, you must have a minimum cumulative GPA of a 3.5 while you are at SOPA. Um, and you must be a full-time student um, as well as maintain 12 credits while you are at Tulane SOPA. And of course, you must be um, in good academic standing. Okay, I'm gonna um, let my um, colleague Amanda Hassan chat with you all a little bit more about steps to apply for the scholarship. So the first thing that you need to do is um, uh, contact your PTK advisor at your designated school. So if you're at Delgado or if you're at um, BRCC, um, 
those schools each have a PTK advisor and it's um, listed on the uh, on your school's website as well as on, on the PTK website. So make sure that you contact them first so that you can get the steps started. Um, here we have it listed with all of the PTK advisors from all the different colleges here in our LCTCS system. So the earlier you get started, the better, um, obviously. So again, the first thing is to contact your PTK advisor at your campus. So do that now. So that way you can get things started. Um, if you want to start school, for example, let's say uh, next summer, uh, we would want to start this process um, in January. So by January, you should be meeting with your PTK advisor. And then once you meet with them, then you'll get in contact with me over at Tulane SOPA. And then I'll go over your transcript with you. So I'll need your unofficial transcript and we can go through it step by step and you'll know exactly what classes will apply to what. After we kind of initially review all of those different transfer credits, then I'll get you in contact with your uh, future academic advisor at SOPA. And then they will be the ones to go ahead and go with to go through with you on um, the prospective major that you're interested in and um, actually transferring the credits in and applying them to your SOPA transcript. So the student support and success um, that we have in place at SOPA is, um, again, just like Sheila said, it's, it's kind of like no other um, at Tulane. We have dedicated academic advisors uh, who will walk with you uh, step by step through the process. So, you know, in terms of admissions, I'm the advisor that will kind of help you walk, go through the academic side of admissions. Uh, we have someone who is financial aid savvy. She's not a counselor, but she is very savvy and can help you with some of that process. Uh, we have program directors and faculty members that are happy to speak with you about what your prospective majors uh, will entail. So if you're interested in, for example, um, general legal studies, our program director for general legal studies will meet with you and talk with you specifically about the courses for that specific major. And she'll actually um, help you through um, making course selections for your actual major courses. While as your academic advisor will make sure that all of your general education requirements will be met. Um, you will have access to a career advisor as well. So we have a really phenomenal career advisor. Uh, she does webinars and she does different, um, she brings in other folks in to train uh, students on how to write their resumes effectively and tailored to industry. So you will get all of that great information here at SOPA as well as uh, be connected to many of your peers in the program. Uh, networking with your peers is really key because some of them may be working in the field that you're actually interested in. Um, and then you'll be connected to uh, alumni who are in the fields that you're looking to go into and they can give you some tips and, and, and pointers on where you should go from being a Tulane SOPA student to graduation and beyond. Something else to think about. Um, we offer credits for prior learning. So if you have experience in a particular field, um, let's say you've been working in the paralegal industry for you know, 15 to 20 years, and you want to earn credit for those years of work, uh, you can actually do a, um, a course to build a portfolio and you can earn up to 24 credit hours of um, of credit by learning experience. So it's really a great opportunity. Um, and you're able to do that over the course of six months. So you have a few options in terms of um, earning those credits. They will appear as a credit on your transcript. So you won't have to take the course. Um, almost how your transfer credits will come in. Keep in mind though, if you want to do the credits for prior learning, you and your academic advisor will have to work together to determine which credits you would do for credits for prior learning versus the credits you would wanna transfer in. So you have a total of 60 credits that you can transfer in, but only up to 24 of those 60 credits can be applied for credit for prior learning. 
So we can sit down uh, with all of our students and kind of talk about step-by-step -step on which would be better to do for you. So it all is a case by case. And I will turn it back over to Sheila. All right, thanks, Amanda. Um, so just a little bit more about how to apply to SOPA in general. Um, our tuition rate per credit hour is $524. Um, that is virtually all you pay per, per credit hour. Um, we do have a nominal amount of fees um, per semester, but it's very, very small. So I always tell students when comparing us to other institutions, definitely consider how much you're going to be paying in fees for semester. Um, we barely um, add fees on top of our tuition rate, while some of our competitor schools almost double their tuition rate with fees. So um, definitely keep that in mind. Um, you're definitely going to need to fill out the FAFSA um, in addition um, to uh, scholarship information. Um, and the, the types of aid that we offer are federal grants and loans through our financial aid office. Um, if you are, um, we offer a 20% discount if you're active duty military or K through 12 instructional staff in Orleans Parish um, or an Orleans Parish public employee. Um, and then Amanda talked about um, some of the credits for prior learning. Um, you can receive up to 24 hours for those credits, which is also a saving because that's 24 hours of classes that you would not have to take or pay for. Um, there is an additional um, PTK two lane specific um, scholarship form that you're going to have to fill out that will be on our website. It is not up yet. Um, so keep checking our SOPA website, but that will need to be filled out as well. Um, for those of you who know that you are planning on coming to Tulane, um, I encourage you to get your application for admission into us as soon as possible. Um, we do have an early enrollment scholarship. So if you're planning on coming um, in the spring, for instance, which is this January, if you are accepted um, and register for classes by December 1st, you will get a $200 scholarship. That is just a $200 scholarship. You don't have to do anything other than register for classes by December 1st. If you are coming in the summer term, you will need to apply and register for classes by May 1st. Or if you're looking to the fall, um, you will need to apply and register to classes, register for classes by June 1. All you have to do is register by these dates and you will end up getting the $200 scholarship. So we certainly hope that you will consider doing that. It's just money that you get. Um, so our application process is not a hard process. Um, you go to our website, it's sopa.tulane.edu forward slash apply. There's a big button at the top that says apply and you just follow the instructions. Um, to complete your application, we're going to need to have transcripts from the school which you are attending right now. Um, if you've ever attended any other institution for college credits, you will need to send us transcripts from there as well. We do need you to upload um, a copy of a current um, ID. For most students, that's a picture of your driver's license. You can just take a picture with your phone and upload it to the application. Um, and there is a $40 application fee. Um, we actually will waive that fee as a thank you for attending this um, webinar. We know that you're taking time out of your day. Um, so we like to thank the students. So now you get that. That's already a $40 savings. Um, if you do have any questions um, during the application process, we always tell students, reach out to us. Um, I consider the application process the beginning of our relationship building with our students. So we like to get to know you. We like to answer your questions. We like for you to share anything else that's going on in your life so that we can get to know our students. Um, a hallmark of SOPA is that we build relationships with our students. They get to know us and we get to know them. So don't be shy reaching out. Uh, our application deadlines. If you're interested in joining us in January, um, our application deadline is January 1. Um, if you want to start in the summer, our application deadline is May 15th and the for the fall, August 1st. Um, that is the abs absolute latest day that you can apply. I encourage you to apply much earlier because if you do, then you can get accepted and register early and get our early registration scholarship and we would love to be able to, to offer that to you. Okay, so that is um, 
the content that we have for you today. Uh, my contact information is here on the screen, Sheila Gold, sgold at tulane.edu. Feel free to um, email me if you have any questions, or if you have a question now, you can put it in the chat box at the bottom. Okay, if there are no questions, um, then we want to thank you for joining us today. Um, once again, we're going to be sending you a copy of this recording, so you can watch it again if you want to um, follow up it and learn more information, or once again, feel free to reach out to me or Amanda, and um, we'd love to get to know you. So um, thank you, everyone. We hope you have a great day.